Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and the clinical significance of the fibrosis development in the liver due to non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases. So what is non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases? As we all know, when more than 5% of liver cells are loaded with fat, we call it steatosis means a simple steatosis non-alcoholic fatty liver right then as the disease progresses from year on year then there will be inflammation development in the liver cell so development of inflammation in liver we call it non-alcoholic steatohepatitis now, long-standing inflammation in the liver cell, ultimately it will lead to the injury to the liver cells, ballooning of the hepatocytes. The liver cell will be damaged and that ultimately leads to development of fibrosis in the liver. Right? And this is the fibrosis in the liver which ultimately leads to adverse liver-related end points or events like the patient having fibrosis in liver they will have higher risk of cirrhosis they will have higher risk of hepatocellular carcinoma they will have higher risk of liver transplantation and they will have higher risk of death that is mortality right so, higher the fibrosis in the liver, higher is the risk of all these adverse clinical endpoint. That's why in patient having non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases, it becomes very important to grade the fibrosis presence in the liver. So, how do we grade the fibrosis in liver? in a patient having non-alcoholic fatty liver diseases the grading of fibrosis it ranges from F0 F means fibrosis 0 grade or to F1 grade or F2 to F3 to F4 right F0 and F1 means no or minimal fibrosis right so this category nephed patients they have no increased risk of liver event but they will have a higher risk of developing cardiovascular diseases so in those patients we will manage the cardiovascular risk factors like insulin resistance diabetes dyslipidemia obesity uh, blood pressure so and so forth f2 means clinically significant fibrosis that means significant fibrosis has already taken place and there is an increased risk of liver related events in that group of patient f3 means advanced fibrosis that means the fibrosis has already progressed to the advanced stage and there is a very high risk of liver related events and when we say f4 means the patient is in already in a big trouble because cirrhosis has already taken place. So friends, if a patient having nephed with F0, F1, very good. Manage the risk factors, dyslipidemia, diabetes, blood pressure, obesity, etc. F2 means clinically significant fibrosis has already started. F3 means advanced fibrosis. F4 means cirrhosis, right? As you move from your left to right there is an increased risk of liver related event which we have already discussed here so how do we do the grading of fibrosis in patient having nephed friends the gold standard method is liver biopsy however liver biopsy has its own limitation and disadvantages liver biopsy is not possible in routine clinical practice so we require some non-invasive techniques. We call it NID, non-invasive technique 
by which we can easily do the fibrosis grading in our clinical practice. We have two important and simple non-invasive technique to grade fibrosis in Neffer patient. Number one, we call it FIV4 scoring. Now this FIV4 is a very simple calculator scoring tool. It requires very simple parameters like age of the patient, liver enzyme AST and ALT and platelet counts. Right? You Google the FIV4 score, open the calculator, fit these four values and you will get the FIV4 scoring. Now, if your FIV4 scoring is less than 1.3, there is no advanced fibrosis, right? If FIV4 is more than 2.6, there is presence of advanced fibrosis. And if it is between 1.3 to 2.6, we call it indeterminate value. Now in this indeterminate group of patient wherein you are not sure whether the patient has no fibrosis or advanced fibrosis. For that indeterminate class of patient you will recommend the next level of evaluation which we call a transient elastography and many a time we also call vibration Control transient elastography. One example, as we all know, fibro scan. Right? It's a very simple, non invasive imaging technology. It takes hardly five minutes for, for uh, evaluating the fibrosis on transient elastography. When you ask the patient to undergo transient elastography, it gives you two values liver stiffness measure in kilopascal. And second, it gives you controlled attenuation parameter cap, that is decibel per meter. This gives you the uh, uh, grading of fibrosis, that means how much is the stiffness in the liver, and this gives you how much fat is the deposited in the liver, right? So, a very simple technology, FIV4, go for the first FIV4 scoring. Determine whether the patient has less than 1.3 FIV4 score, no advanced fibrosis, more than 2.6 advanced fibrosis, in between 1.3 to 2.6 indeterminate, that's where you recommend transient elastography to do the further categorization of the fibrosis. Thank you very much.